Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to make your own mucus and of course the science behind it. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a measuring cup, water, fork, unflavored gelatin, corn syrup, a stove, and some adult supervision. Are you tired of all your friends bragging about being sick? Well, this video is going to help you learn how to make your own mucus. All right, so you start off with a half a cup of water, um, and you're going to bring that to a boil. So ask an adult to help you. Um, as we all know, a stove can be very hot. So once it becomes to a boil uh, like this, you're going to take it off the heat, turn the heat off, and drag it off to the side. And we are going to add two drops of our favorite food coloring. Now, of course, since we're making mucus, there's only really one color you can use, and that would be green. But you can use any color you want, but uh, green is the one I'm going for uh, because that's how I like my mucus. Anyway, so we got two drops in there, and then we're going to add the unflavored gelatin. So I used this in another experiment back with the balloon, and we made um, you know some cool uh, architecture designs with it or with static electricity. This time we're going to rip them open. Now I did them all at the same time, but I would suggest doing them one at a time. Um, but uh, you can do them all at the same time and then you're going to stir it immediately afterwards so you want to get it out and stir it so you're going to stir for about two minutes with a fork and so uh, just keep stirring that up uh, for about a couple minutes and then um, after two minutes we will add a little bit of corn syrup since i'm considerate to your time i uh, cut some of the film out of me stirring and now i'm going to add my corn syrup now i'm using light corn syrup as that was in my cabinet but i would recommend getting regular corn syrup so pour that in and um, you might have to add a little bit more. Um, you're trying to get about a cup total, so maybe some of it burnt off the water earlier. But about a half a cup will be due. You could always pour a little bit more in. You're just going to keep stirring that now um, um, until, as it, until it cools. And every once in a while you can pull it up and you should start getting strands of mucus. So it starts to look like this, and as you pull it up, you're going to start getting the strands to look just like mucus. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, you know, a little bit better than I thought. So uh, I think it looks pretty pretty much like mucus. And uh, so it's one of those things, hey, are you tired of all your friends getting sick and you're sitting at home and you don't get to play with all that mucus? Well, now you have a chance to make your own mucus. So as I play with the mucus and show you it, I'm going to explain the science behind it. So the science behind this, mucus is mainly made out of sugars and proteins, and that's what we use to make our fake mucus. The only you used different proteins and different sugars. Those long, fine strings inside the fake mucus are proteins. They are why the real mucus can stretch out so long. And we all know we've seen someone stretch that mucus pretty long, so... Uh, that protein helps make it sticky too. And, uh, and by picking it up, it's not like regular slime. I know a lot of you guys, are, kids are looking here and you're saying, oh, slime, slime. It's really sticky. It doesn't have that smooth uh, texture you have with slime. So the proteins are, uh, the fake mucus is the gelatin that we put in earlier. And of course, the sugars are the corn syrup. So to make it a little bit more gross science, right? If you take a little pinch of fine dust or some flour, just a tiny bit, and put it on top of the fake mucus, now stir it up a little bit, look closely into that goo um, from the side or bring it up, and the fine dust or flour is trapped. And that's why you have mucus in your nose. So you can trap all the dust and the pollen and the junk that is floating around the air. <laughs> So that mucus, uh, most of the time, catches the dirt, it traps it, and then you end up blowing it out. So it's kind of cool that mucus is actually helping you, even though we all think it's pretty gross. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to share if you liked it. Um, and thanks for watching.